Welcome everyone. We are live. We tried out the new 30 second beginning and we're going to try some new things tonight. We have a little bit of a change up tonight. Our guest Todd Zimmerman actually sent me a message earlier today and he had a scheduling conflict with coaching. So as I mentioned on my Instagram and Facebook, um, stories. He actually co-founded and helps run Hickory Hoops and the Fishers um, Falcons. And so unfortunately, like anything, things happen. And so tonight he had one of his coaches that actually had to step away, wasn't feeling well. So he had to step in. And so we have plan to reschedule him. So we're still working on those details. We're not sure if it's going to be um, in September or October. We've been booking up a lot of clients. So I don't know who is sharing. I'm actually going to get on real quick on my Facebook page and share our live video as well if you'd like to. So I'm going to kind of explain how this works. So if you go to Giesemann Homes, which is our Facebook um, page that our business runs. And then on the Facebook Giesemann Homes page, you'll see where it says, um, I'm gonna scroll so that I can do this kind of real time and it'll show that we are live. Of course, my phone is thinking a little bit, so it's not sure. I don't know who's watching at this point. It looks like Eric is watching. Hey, Eric, you're probably in the shop. So it's a little bit of a different type of show tonight. I know we don't have a guest, but I'm just going to kind of chat and I can answer questions and stuff. So if you go to our Facebook, I don't know if you can see that, but if you can go to our Facebook, Giesemann Homes, and it's kind of like Dot, Cameron, and Adam, um, and then it should pop up. I don't know if it's because. There we are. Okay, so you'll see like I did this fun little um, 30 second thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click. So for anybody that's watching the show, let's say you have a friend or a business that you think that we could showcase. One of the ways that you can do it is you can just click the share button. And so then just share to your story, share to your pages story, send in messenger. So some of our um, guests have put that they we'll share it to a friend or to someone that they think we can showcase. So that way it goes directly to them so that then they can watch the show, um, share to a page, share to a group. Now, one of our friends um, and actually guests, she shared it to a group. What that does when you share it to a group is it actually takes it and puts it in a separate group. We can't normally see the comments, so that's why I always ask people, please put a comment or click the like or whatever so that I can see that um, you're watching. Adam is telling me, if you see, I keep shaking the desk. Anyways, so share to a group and then there's other options. So I'm just gonna share to your page's story. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to hit share. So if you don't wanna share it to something directly, um, so now what's nice, the reason why I share that and why Adam shares it is because then we can see if one of my friends or one of Adam's friends or clients or whatever pops on, then they will see it. So if you've just joined, I've just shared that. So that way I can kind of see who pops on, who likes it, so on and so forth. Um, our guest, like I said, for anybody that's just joining, um, Todd Zimmerman, we have rescheduled him tonight um, because just like everything, right, things change, things come up. And so I told him, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. We're not this big um, news production show. So it was just real simple to kind of reschedule it. But I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on who we have um, coming up. We've got a couple dates left. We have one date left open in September and then October is booking up. Um, so we've got Kim Carlson, who she runs Roots and Wings, which is a yoga studio or a yoga. She does virtual yoga. She does one-on-one -on -one yoga. And so we're going to be chatting with her next week. We've got Aaron. Hey, Aaron. 
um, it just popped on and watching. If you are joining in again, we're not chatting with um, Todd Zimmerman tonight. He actually had another uh, thing pop up. So I'm just gonna go through who we have coming up here shortly. So Alicia Hafner, she's actually my hairdresser. She works at Radiate 60 Hair, which is in downtown Fisher. So we're gonna have her on, gonna chat with her and kind of learn some stuff. Okay, Eric could just ask as I go through this, I'm gonna try to answer questions. So if you have questions for Adam or I, Adam's kind of in the background. So if you want a question from Adam and actually see him on the screen, maybe we'll make him get on. But <laughs> tell us about your favorite little hidden gems in Fishers, parks, coffee shops, retail, um, whatever. I actually, so um, I can't say it's my favorite yet, but I actually was talking with Jessica Landez, which is Blue Peppermint. I chatted with her for quite a while tonight and or today and really enjoyed chatting with her. I'm excited. We're actually going to interview her in October. That's going to be a really good one. I would love to get the well coffee shop. So um, there's a group of me and about three other women on Friday mornings. We one of the girls lives in Sunblast, and so we meet in Sunblast. We walk to the well coffee, which is really great because it's super close. We usually get coffee or tea, and then we walk back, and then we walk around um, the park, Holland Park. And I love Holland. It's one of those that's been there forever. Um, anybody who's from Fishers is very familiar with the Circle Holland. Um, I love it because you can. there's a ton of people there, but yet you can walk around and enjoy um, just kind of the tucked away-ness, I guess, um, if that's what you want to call it. But so Holland is a great park. Let's see, what else did Eric ask? Put the question back up for Eric. He said parks, hidden gems in Fishers. Parks, I like the well. Um, I really love Four Day Ray, which we're also trying to get Brian on. So if anybody has a connection with Brian, he has multiple people trying to connect him. Um, Brian um, owns Four Day Ray. We love Four Day Ray. One, Adam loves their beer. I absolutely love their gluten-free menu. There's not a lot of restaurants that have um, gluten-free or is apparent that they have gluten-free. Anything can be made gluten-free really. Um, so we love Four Day Ray. So I'm gonna say that's probably one of my favorites. Um, so back to who we're interviewing, Larry Lannon, who runs Larry in Fishers, he actually retired, um, I'm gonna say eight to 10 years ago and started a little blog that um, just talks about Fishers, gives information on Fishers. I'm really excited about interviewing him because I think he has a lot of content and a lot of information that he'll be able to provide us. We were talking um, recently and just were talking about, you know, the trail or turning the um, the train, you know, the train tracks into a trail and what that looks like. He even was talking about back in the 90s, early 90s, about how when they finally took you know, the sewage system under 69 to the other side and really how that just opened up the possibilities of growing fishers. So I think that's going to be a really fun conversation. He is also um, in September. Um, Janelle DeWolf, we're going to be interviewing her. She's with Studio um, 1116 Photography, but I'm excited about chatting with her because she's actually an Enneagram um, expert. She might not say expert. I'm going to say that she knows the Enneagram. For any of you that know me very well, I love the Enneagram. I am a seven for all of you that are Enneagram fans. So I think it's going to be fun to chat with her. But she, it's funny. I keep talking to people and I feel like she's just one of those people that everybody knows. <laughs> Because with talking with Jessica today, she was familiar with Janelle. So excited about talking with her and then Jessica. And then we will rebook um, Todd Zimmerman. Um, again, sorry that he's not on tonight. I'm a little bummed, but that's okay. Again, things happen and we have to just kind of roll with the punches. So Todd will be fun to chat with. 
Again, if you want to catch that, I'll put the date up once we solidify that. Again, I'm not sure we had one date left in September and then we had some stuff in October. So we're going to kind of see what fits within his um, schedule. He's very busy. Um, he works a lot of hours, but then also runs the Hickory Hoops and the Fisher's Falcons. And so we were just going to kind of chat with him about Fisher's sports, what he has seen that has changed over the years, um, especially, you know, he's got younger kids and then older kids and kind of what, how that has changed ultimately. And we'll talk about this in our interview, but one of the things that I have found very interesting, you know, when Adam and I went to school back in nine, well, we graduated in 98 from Hamel Southeastern. Um, I think one of the interesting things was, you know, you heard about travel sports or rec sports to a certain extent. I remember specifically that there was a volleyball um, program or volleyball, you know, I'm going to call it program because I can't come up with another word, but where you could do it on a travel aspect, but it wasn't that big. It was small. Adam had swimming, which we talked with Andy Peterson probably about a month ago. And of course there was the swim club. So you had that. But other than that, I don't remember um, I guess AAU basketball, there was probably, can you think of any others, babe? No, travel sports, it's all, yeah. I, I know there was some sort of, probably some sort of baseball program. There probably was, but it wasn't to the extent that it is today. Mm -hmm. And so I was really intrigued with talking with Todd, you know, and kind of was excited about tonight, but again, we'll, we, we're going to reschedule it. Um, it was exciting to kind of see him and, or talk to him about how that has changed and what made him, you know, after being in some of those programs of changing and seeing what else there is, and then finally deciding, okay, I want something for my kids. What else is there and what does that look like? And so then he just decided um, with some partners to do the Hickory Hoops and the Fisher's Falcons. And so our twin boys who are 11 do Hickory Hoops and they love it. It's, you know, it's that Hickory Hoops is basketball. Fisher's Falcons is baseball. So the Hickory Hoops is really great. They play at multiple locations. They have travel and then they have different levels. And so our kids love it. And so we're excited about hopefully chatting with him here at some point. Um, we do have some other people that we're trying to get a hold of. So if you know of a business um, or even, you know, I've mentioned this, we interviewed Kelly Peasley a while back. She is actually a nurse, but also happens to be married to a Fisher's police officer. And so it doesn't always have to be business owners. We're just trying to bring awareness to people who live in Fisher's. We have gotten a lot of people who have referred us to either businesses or companies that are outside of Fisher's, which I do want to get to those. I'm excited about those, but we're really trying to focus on fishers here at the beginning, try to really um, showcase what we do have here in the fishers area. A lot of our clients come from fishers. Ultimately, we work in Indianapolis and all the surrounding areas, but Hamilton County is kind of our bread and butter and what we love because Adam and I clearly have lived here for 25 or 30 years. So Ultimately, if you think of a business owner or someone that you, you know, maybe someone who's really in philanthropic work or charity work that's here in Fishers, we'd love to chat with them as well. Larry doesn't own a business in Fishers, but he knows a lot of data about Fishers. So I'm kind of excited about picking his brain a little bit. So again, anything Fishers, ultimately, if you know somebody, we just ask that you send them a message or send us a message, try to connect us. Um, I talked to a friend today um, to try to get connected with the owners of Sunrise Cafe. And um, I even talked to the owners of, um, let's see, who else have I talked with? So many people. Anyways, try to get everybody on the list since we only do it once a week. So if you think of anybody, of course, let us know. Um, like Adam has put on the bottom, ask us questions um, or comments. Again, I'm sorry that we didn't. Anybody that jumped on and is interested in um, the interview with Todd, we will get to that. I promise. It's just going to have to be um, at a different date. Our first interview was with Ryan Alwer, and that was a lot of fun. Um, we had a great um, can you pull up our old um, who we've had on the show before like the get to know your neighbor my 
note. Sorry, side note, guys. I'm going to have him pulled up. We interviewed um, Ryan Allwert first. Uh, that was our first guest. He's actually one that kind of helped us come up with this. You know, back... When I was little, I always said I wanted to be the next Barbara Walters. Um, and I jokingly now say that it took until 2020. <laughs> I know I'm so cheesy. Um, until I actually started doing kind of interviews, but I'm really loving it. I love meeting new people. A lot of these, you know, people that I'm interviewing recently, I don't know. Um, of course, some of them I do know, but I don't know everybody. So, um, Ryan was kind of the first one. I want to have him back on. He actually played music, um, during that. And, I just, if you don't know Ryan Alwer, I highly recommend that you go back and watch that episode. He just is a wealth of information, um, a love of Christ, and just a downright good individual. So I recommend that you go back and watch that one. He's a Fishers um, or HSC. I feel like I have to separate those two because technically Fishers High School wasn't around, but he was an HSC alum moved away, went to IU, and then came back to Fishers. So that was a good one. Then we interviewed Sarah Kruer. She um, is a local artist. Um, if you have bought or sold a house with us, you might have received a gift that actually she made custom for you. She is Imish Joy is her company, and you can find her on imishjoy.com. She is a Again, another amazing individual, just a caring, kind heart and super talented. She has also boxes that you can get that are, you know, care packages. Actually, Adam got me one for Mother's Day that just had, you know, um, a little wooden um, sign. Thanks. Hmm. Sign that she made. And then it had um, a little card and candle stickers. it was some stickers yeah so that was really cool so you can check out imish joy that was really great um then we interviewed gary reynolds um by the way all of these you can go back and watch either on our facebook this facebook page or you can also um go to our website which is geesemanhomes.com um, you can go there and actually click on um all of the different people that we've that we've interviewed. So um, Gary Reynolds was a lot of fun. Old, here's the thing. Gary Reynolds has lived here, I can't say forever, but I'm going to say forever. He was just fun to talk to and kind of learn about the history of Reynolds farm equipment and um, just kind of that old school um, thoughts you know, that kind of went into what Fisher's used to be and how his dad started a company. And so that was a good one. Go back and watch that one. Then we interviewed Remington Ramsey. That was a little bit off course to a certain extent. He actually started a magazine, uh, but is more real estate based. He actually, the magazine is for real estate agents and kind of showcases different agents and then really presents us with us as agents with and connects connects us with vendors. So that was really fun. Remington also does cut co. And so he gave away a knife, which was really great. Um, actually an old high school friend won that. So Alison, Alison Stroll won that as a gift. And so hopefully she's enjoying that. Um, then we went back to old school again and interviewed Jim Self. Jim Self is the um, athletic director at Hamilton Southeastern. He was also my track coach, so that was a lot of fun to chat with him about kind of the old school stuff. And also, again, in respect to kind of the Todd Zimmerman that was supposed to be tonight, he talked about kind of the how things have changed over the years with kids sports and or, you know, teen sports. And so that was that was good. Um, then we interviewed Jackie Showalter. She um, helps run Kona Ice, which was fun. That was so at the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing. I was advised to kind of like recap as I went through. So I was doing a lot of recapping, which I didn't really specifically feel comfortable doing. We learned that we don't know which direction things are because everything's backwards. Um, so that was that was a learning experience. 
If you want to see what two women act like when we have no clue what we're doing, go watch that episode. That was a, that was a, am I allowed to say it? That was a shit show, but fun. Then we interviewed my brother-in-law, Eric Giesemann. He is a custom knife maker and he is actually a sponsor of the show as well. And so that's why he got brought on. Again, if you want to see amazing work, follow his Instagram. He is Ashblades on Instagram, and then he also has a website. Just an amazing individual makes, takes metal that is just a sheet of metal and turns it into beautiful work of a custom kitchen knife or hunting knife or paring knife or... He made a knife for his dad for when he, when he's out on the boat and he needs to, um, what do we call Clean it? Fish. Clean fish. See, I don't even know what I'm talking Filet about. Filet of fish. Mm. That. Take the bones out of the fish. Anyways, Eric's amazing. Um, so you can check out his um, website, which is Ash Blades. Um, then we interviewed Austin Bowman, who is a lender of ours. A lot of people in the Fishers area know the Bowman family in general, his sister, um, both of his sisters, and his, which I probably need to have on the show, both of his sisters and his wife are hairdressers. And his mom is a real estate agent. We love Brenda Bowman. And um, yeah, just a great guy. He talks about lending and kind of how he got into um, doing mortgages, doing lending. Um, and then he's had some struggles. Um, and so he kind of talked about that a little bit with his son um, having, you know, being hit by a golf ball and stuff. And so that was a really interesting um, conversation. Then we interviewed Kelly Peasley, which I mentioned a little bit ago. She is a nurse and a police officer's wife, one of my favorite people in the world. Um, she, We talked about all things kind of mom and nursing and what it's like to kind of go through all that and have those stresses of just a lot going on because... Well, my sister's a nurse. I always say, nurses are special people. I could never be a nurse. Nope, not my cup of tea. But I have a lot of nurses say that they couldn't be real estate agents. So we're in good company. Um, then we interviewed Jennifer Driscoll. Okay, Jennifer Driscoll is, again, I'm saying this a lot, um, one of my favorite people. Jennifer Driscoll is a photographer. She used to have a little white studio in downtown Fishers that got tore down, but she moved on to bigger and better things. But she knew a lot about Fishers as well because she saw the potential of buying a plot of land in downtown Fishers with the intention of knowing that at some point that land probably would be purchased. And she st sold it to Steve Cage, which is another philanthropic um kind of individual in the Fishers area and he purchased the land and she kind of talked about photography and all of that. If you're wanting family photos, if you're wanting senior photos, if you're wanting baby photos, anything. any photos, here's the thing. She is just extremely talented. So I highly recommend that you go and follow her. Her website is Jennifer. I believe it's just Jennifer Driscoll.com. I think Jennifer Driscoll. Yeah, I think that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. Just search Jennifer Driscoll. You will find a ton. She has photographed uh, buildings, a lot of fishers. Things. She's like doing food. I remember saying she that. loves She's doing food. Fun. She's yeah. into food. That's the thing. She also she loves food. She photographs food. She is food. Love it. Um, if you're just joining in, I see people coming on and off. I know you're probably jumping on because you wanted to see Todd Zimmerman. We, uh, he texted me earlier today and had a conflict with one of the teams. And so he had to reschedule. So we just thought we would do a question and answer session. And I was kind of going through who we've interviewed in the past and kind of give you just kind of a rundown of who we're going to interview all that. So Jennifer Driscoll. Then we did Courtney Andrus. Courtney um, Andrus owned Pure Eatery and Pearl Street Pizzeria. Okay, Pearl, Pearl Street Pizzeria, amazing pizza, great atmosphere. It's on Olio. 
um, in Geist. They have different clubs for like bourbon and 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 um, like um, question nights, all sorts of stuff. I'm telling you, Pearl Street, really great. Guys can get involved. Women can get involved. I think that, you know, if you even just during the day need a place to go and work, they've got Wi-Fi, the bar's great, the food's great. Pearl Street Eatery, pure Pearl Street Pizzeria. Mm -hmm. She's going to correct me on that one, and that's okay. Pure Eatery is in downtown Fishers off of 116th Street. That is kind of clean eating. It's really great, has good gluten-free, um, a lot of vegan, vegetarian options. It also is a bar. They actually have a wine club. Really great. Pure Eatery, Courtney Andrus. Then we interviewed Jonna Myers. Jonna um, is a motivational speaker. She, Kelly Peasley actually referred us to her. And gosh, that was a fun one. She just, her ability to kind of help guide you from where you are to where you kind of want to be with food and with faith. She just was a wealth of information. I probably should call her and talk to her about kind of the mental capacity with food and everything. So Jonna Myers. Then we interviewed Lisa Graft. She, Lisa Graft has been on or has been a part of um, many things. She currently just started I Am Mother of the Year, and I like to call her my mompreneur. She has a new podcast that just came out. And for anybody that's a mom, um, I say even a dad, but mom is kind of her focus. If you've struggled with just anything with being a mom, she will make you laugh. Her and her best friends run this um, podcast. It'll make you laugh. It'll most likely make you cry. Um, it makes you go, oh, that's right. I'm normal as a mom doing the things that you do on a daily basis. So that's really great. Check her out. That is I Am Mother of the Year. Then we interviewed Chris Hebert, who is our neighbor and dear friend. He also sponsors the show as well. So sometimes, um, not every week, but sometimes he will donate gift certificates so that we can get, do a giveaway to Chili's. He um, runs and or manages a big group of Chili's. I don't even know how many. I think seven. Maybe seven is what Adam thinks. So um, by the way, if you're watching, ask me a question. I'm just, I'm just jabbering at this point. Court, um, Chris is, Chris is fun. Mm -hmm. This is what I love about Chris. Chris likes to anybody that comes on the show that is either pro or against Fishers or HSC. He puts his two cents in. He is a strong Fishers fan because he also happens to be the assistant varsity baseball coach wears red religiously it is his favorite color even to the extent the other day we looked out our back window and he was in white it was very disturbing that he was in white because he wears red every single day so if you see chris heber and he's not in red do me a favor and give him a hard time work. what Probably at work. He um, probably is at work tonight still. No, if he's not in red. If he's not in red. It's oh, in red. it's because he's at work. Yeah, but Chili's is red. He so, black, oh, does he wear black? Okay. Um, Then one of the ones that I was really excited about interviewing is Rebecca Stevens. She is really the brains and the mind be behind the Hamilton County Humane Society. They actually. Um, broke ground and are building the new facility in Fishers that's off of Hague Road and 106th Street. They've been in Noblesville for many, many years. But when she started at the Humane Society, she was actually at the jail in Noblesville. And so it's really just grown into this amazing um, 
really building and facility and what she's doing for animals. They are truly a no-kill facility. And so if you're thinking about adopting an animal, I highly recommend that you go visit the um, Hamilton County Humane Society. It also covers all of Hamilton County. So they do all sorts of stuff. And I apparently have something in my eye, so don't mind me as I try to fix my eye. If you're just joining, ask me a question. We're just going through right now who we have interviewed um, in the past to kind of give you an idea of who all has been on and just to kind of give them another support. Okay, then we interviewed Jim Trueblood. So a couple months ago, a little over a couple months ago, we, Adam and I actually shifted and moved from Century 21 to True Blood Real Estate in downtown Fishers. Since we've been focusing on Fishers, we really wanted to be with a firm that was in downtown Fishers and was driven towards supporting agents so that we then can support our clients and really bring more to our clients versus um, other things. So interviewed Jim Trueblood. He started the um, brokerage a couple of years back and has been doing real estate for a very long time. So again, we went off the normal, but he has a business in Fishers. And so it was really great chatting with him and learning about his um, journey. We're going to call it journey. Um, then last week, we went back in history and interviewed Chris Jeter. So Chris and I went to high school together. He was a year ahead of us. Haven't seen him in a very long time, but it felt like it hadn't, that years hadn't passed, that it hasn't been over 20 years. Yes, that is aging me right now. But um, he is a local attorney in downtown Fishers with Maslamani, Jeter, and Carson. I had to practice that. And in the interview, I said it right every time. So I was really excited. Maslamani. Um, his partner actually runs Fisher's Chatter on Facebook, which is a really great group. If you're questioning things about Fisher's, I see a lot of questions that are like, you know, what's a local pizzeria? Um, where I then replied that you should go to Pearl Street Pizzeria. So places like that. Um, his group is just amazing. They do offer a free one hour consultation. Um, so if you have, you know, questions or law or attorney questions. We even talked about what the difference is between an attorney and a lawyer. That was very interesting. There is no difference. There is no difference. There's the your answer. Are synonymous. There's your answer. I liked his view on it though. His kind of well, thought of, okay, a lawyer is when you are kind of trying to downplay it. An attorney is to kind of sound fancy. So that was very interesting. Um, so Chris Jeter was really great chatting with him, learning about, again, his journey it has been amazing. He yeah. has done more than I will do in 10 lifetimes. Yeah. He was in the Navy, saw Saddam Hussein in his jail cell. Oh, that yes. Cool. That was wild. That's crazy. Could you imagine yeah. walking down the hall and seeing Assam Hussein? Saddam Hussein. Saddam, I can't even say his name. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't see him because I wouldn't know it's him. Mm -hmm. There you go. Anyways, seeing that person in a jail cell, that is crazy. Um, I love just how humble Chris is. Um, he's also running. So for anybody that is in the McCordsville, Fortville, um, well, he's District 88. And so he is running for the Republican um, side. And so if you are going to vote in November, I would say check out his site, which is chrisjeter.com. Um, you can check that out and Still see. That from last week. <laughs> That's from last week. Adam hasn't changed it. Nope. Anyways, so check out Chris Jeter on his website. You can kind of look up and see what he is about and all that. So anyways, I just wanted to get on here tonight. Sorry that we didn't again have Todd Zimmerman. So if you jumped on and wanted to see him, hold tight. We're going to have him on. He felt really bad, uh, but that's okay. We're just going to move him to another date and schedule him at another time. So if you have any questions, just let me know. We just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what's coming up. If you, again, I know I ask this a lot, but if you know somebody that you feel like you want recognized or promoted or showcased, just let us know. We see a lot of people kind of jumping on and off. So hi, everybody. I know if you don't kind of 
put in a post or whatever. But we also ask that you share any of our posts. So you can go to our Giesemann Homes page and share any of those. If you know somebody who is looking for an attorney, share Chris Jeter's. If you know somebody that's looking for a photographer, you could share Jennifer Driscoll's. If you know somebody that is looking for maybe some counseling with food or whatever, share John Myers. Um, that's kind of what this was made to be, is just a platform to be able to share local businesses and people and fishers and just be able to spread the word. So that's what we're about. That's kind of what the goal is. So if you know of anybody, just let us know. Um, we're not getting any more questions. So we're just probably going to just, what's it called? Sign off. Sign off. Words. They don't always come to me all the time, but we're gonna sign off. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to post it in the comment section. I really appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. Even though we didn't have an interview, I will post um, next week. We're doing Kim Carlson with Roots and Wings, which is yoga. She has even agreed to uh, give away a 30 minute um, personal session with her. So if you, want to see that, that would be really great. Or if you want to win that, you have the chance to win that. Um, Jonathan Wagner, I think just joined. Jonathan, if you want to have a personal session with Kim Carlson um, for a personal yoga session, feel free um, to tune in <laughs> next Thursday. Um, I have to give Jonathan a hard time because, well, it's Jonathan. It's what we do here. Anyways, um, so we're going to do that next week. And um, she also, I think when I talked with her the other day, I think she's also going to give like, if you have five minutes to your day and you just have a break and you just want to kind of recenter yourself. Um, she said she'd give us a couple of moves because um, there are times in the day where you just need to step away for a minute and do a couple yoga moves and kind of center yourself and help your brain. So anyways, that's going to be really excited exciting. If you guys need anything, let us know in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thursday.